All right, guys, we are in Walmart, and we are on the hunt for the Haunted Mansion. That's what we've decided we want to watch tonight, and I don't know if they have it here or not. Sometimes some of these older ones are more difficult to find. It's definitely not the nanny. Here's some spooky movies on the end here, um, kind of. Let's see, Hotel Transylvania, Casper, and the house with the clock in the walls. Man, this place is just totally ravaged <laughs> as far as movies go. People must all be having movie nights right now. All right, here's some new releases, and I just noticed, look, they have Free Guy. I do want to see that, but not tonight. Tonight, we are on the hunt, and we are looking for that one specific one, which makes me wonder why I'm stopping to look at this one. Night of the Animated Dead. What in the world? is this. It's something that looks totally cool, but we'll come back to it another time. Okay, there we go. The Amityville Moon. All right, and what is this? Naked Singularity. Where do they come up with this crap? A hard R version of E.T. Fried Berry? What in the living world? <laughs> Okay, let's just keep on looking here. Oh, look, they have Are You Afraid of the Dark? That's an awesome one. And look at this down here, Black Pumpkin. Okay. Oh, they have Paranorman on Blu-ray. Look at it, it's green. That looks pretty cool, actually. All right, we got some spooky movies over here. Oh, look, we have the It 2 film collection. Halloween 2018, Halloween 1 and 2, Annabelle Purge, uh... I got a good selection of these here, but I don't see what we are looking for. I couldn't help but get sidetracked when I saw this, not this, this. The Goonies Mikey. How cool is that? Ooh, they got the new Space Jam movie here. I haven't seen it yet. I heard it was just okay. That's more my style right there with the real Jordan. All right, let's see. Man, I don't know. I don't think they have it, because I haven't seen it anywhere. Oh, look, here's some more pops, and they have Chunk. Holy crap, I don't think I've seen Chunk anywhere yet. Look, he's doing the truffle shuffle. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh, Leprechaun, the eight film collection. I honestly don't know if I've ever seen one Leprechaun movie but I've heard that they are absolutely horrible. <laughs> Willy's Wonderland, a lot of people have requested I do this for a Saturday night snack at a movie, and I actually bought it a little while ago and I can't find it, so I'm gonna have to buy it again. Not today, but very soon. Yes, Critters. Now, this is the four movie collection, and I will tell you guys straight up, Critters 1 rules. The rest of them are horrible. Jeepers Creepers. I love Jeepers Creepers 1. I really didn't get into Jeepers Creepers 2. I thought it was kind of boring and they were trying to stretch the story. But Jeepers Creepers 1 was awesome. Oh, here's Blade Trilogy in the $5 bin. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I wonder if this is, yeah, double feature Blu-ray of Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers Creepers 2 for 5 bucks. That is awesome, although I think I already have Jeepers Creepers. Let's see if there's anything else in here while we're on our search. Oh, here's Dr. Sleep. That's the, the next chapter in The Shining Story. Scary stories to tell in the dark. I wonder if that's supposed to be in the $5 bin. Hmm. Oh, look, they also have old... This, actually, I went to the theater to see this. It was not the greatest movie ever, but it was okay. M. Night Shyamalan. Okay, I would have loved to get it on DVD or Blu-ray, but we're just going to have to watch it on uh, Prime or Netflix or something like that, because that's what we want to watch tonight. What's it called again? Haunted Mansion. <laughs> we were talking about it in our live the other day on Romancing the States. So we did get stuff for snacks though, and I will show you that as soon as we get home. So delicious. All right, guys, so tonight we are doing a snack that should be pretty simple, but it should be pretty cool. What we're using to make these is Reese pumpkins, and I found some rolled gold tiny pretzel twists. Now, I actually wanted bigger pretzels than this because you have to break these 
What we're making is spiders. Reesey pumpkin halloween -y spiders. <laughs> and so we're going to be using the, uh, the pretzels to make spider legs on the pumpkins. And the reason I wanted the bigger pretzels is because it would have been easier to break off the pieces to make the legs. But these small pretzels are the only ones I could find. So we're gonna try to make these work. So the first thing that I need to do is just take these Reese pumpkins out of the package. I looked for like the six pack and they didn't have any. Oh, look at those things. You know they're so delicious. In fact, <laughs> Okay, there we go. We got them all out. They did have the bag of Reese pumpkins, like the individual ones you give out for trick-or-treats, but they are really a lot smaller than these, and I wanted the big ones because, well, they're delicious. So the next thing we need to do is simply open up the pretzels, grab a little handful, and just break them up because we're gonna use the little bits and pieces or spider legs. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. All right. Give me a minute to break these up. Okay, that should work. We got a pile of spider legs here and a pile of spider bodies. And then the last thing we're going to be using here is these eyes. These are the same eyes that I bought at the beginning of the season when we made the Rice Krispie Monsters, and they've lasted this long. I still have like two or three other packs in there, but, uh, but I think there's enough in here to use tonight. are guys the finished greasy pumpkin spiders how awesome does that look those look so creepy and tasty and i can attest because i already ate two would someone like a tasty greasy spider they look really cute and <laughs> scary yeah <laughs> eat one okay or take a bite at least <laughs> better than Reese's peanut butter cups and pretzels. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, we are down to five. I should have got a ton more, but we are going to get ready and watch the movie now. These suckers are probably going to be gone in a matter of seconds. These were so easy to make. And just to give you a little tip, I used from each pretzel the top corners. This bottom part didn't really work very well, so I just used the top corners. That gave me the curved legs, and then the eyes, you can see where they start kind of breaking up when you're pushing the eyes in, but it's pretty cool anyway. Honestly, it looks kind of like a little elephant there with that nose. All right, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like these tasty critters, and make sure you stick around because there's going to be a lot more movies and a lot more awesome snacks.